Can you can you yeah. share that? Yeah, I can do that. Yeah. Okay, so so what we can do look at is the same thing using a fire and IR filter. Um, using a fire and IR filter using lab view. Um, just give me a minute. Can, I, can all of you see my screen? Yeah. Yeah. yeah cool. Yeah. So, so before I do so, like, go to new VI. If you press Control T. So, for example, uh, if, if you start taking. Uh, hi, uh, Kyrie. Uh, oh, Jeff, you can you record your uh, pre uh this one because my system have some problem. Okay. Can, you, can you record your one? Your yeah. Yeah. Your student, some student, some. Uh, record? Yeah. Yeah, it's recording. Yeah, thank okay, you. It thank shows you. recording uh, on my screen as well. Yeah, it's okay. recording. But for my one, uh, because I'm not the host, I cannot record the, uh, the, the thing. Maybe, maybe you, can you uh, just record? Yeah. Yeah, thank you, thank you. I also record, but the voice, only voice may be good. The, uh, the, 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 uh, I mean, the image may be not very good, so I, that's why I, like if you can record, I also record. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So in lab view, uh, I'm working into MATLAB is still not using fire and IR filters. So I'm going to show you an example, but you got to do this with your ECG or EMG signal that you're from. So for for here, I'm just going to say here from generation, I'm going to generate a sign signal. Let's say 10 hertz at the sampling frequency of 1000 hertz. Okay. So if I have to generate the FFT, so like uh, like what we did last seminar uh, last week, spectral measurements. So so if if you do that and okay, so linear and if I have to create a waveform graph. Just have to connect it, and there you go. Like exactly at ten hertz, you get a peak. So if you want to change, let's say fifty hertz, oh, hundred hertz. Okay, and if you want it, you can see an exactly a peak at hundred hertz. So now to choose a filter, it's very simple. All you got to do is by FIR. Type FIR filter. There's a lot of FIR filters that's going to come up. So if you can take the FIR window filter, that's good enough. You can choose that. And now to know what the terminals are in the in the VI, so you can just click the VI and press Control H. You can see what all the wires are for, what all the connections are for. So you can see that there's sampling rate, low cutoff, high cutoff, and then from that the, uh, the window. If you want to choose, or else you just can give give nothing there. The filter type, so low pass, high pass, or band pass filter. So once you choose that, you can connect. You can connect your so if you signal, you can connect your signal to that. Choose all the values. The sampling frequency, low cutoff, and you should get. So I'll show you an example of what I've done already. So that's so I've simulated a signal here. So I've added two signals. That's I've added 50 hertz and 100 hertz. So that's why you see two peaks. There, I've used an FIR filter. So if I press Control H there, you can see that FIR window and filter. I've added, so I wanted to filter 50 hertz out of this. So I put my low cutoff and high cutoff frequencies and the number of taps run it. So let's say if my frequency is 200. So you can see the same thing there. But since I've made the cutoff uh, band stop filter for 50 hertz, if I come over to 50, you can see the amplitude it uses for the 50 hertz. And you, got, you should also be careful for the number of taps. So if the number of taps are too high, you distort the entire signal itself. So make sure you choose the appropriate tap. If, if, if your taps are very low, uh, it wouldn't make much difference either. So you got to choose the appropriate um, taps. And you can only do that by looking at FFT of them. So I think that should be easy. Um, so all you got to, again, all you got to do is Take your signal, so read from measurement file, read your TDMS file, connect it to FFT, look at it, look at it. If there is a DC offset, remove that. 
connected to a filter and if you see any noises, try to remove it. Uh, any questions? So the number of taps, so in FI filter you say the number of taps, it's, it's like an order. In IF filter you say the order number, in FI you say taps. Yeah. Any other questions? If it's there, I'll send it back to Kylie. Hi, Kyrie. Maybe Kyrie is trying to uh, build the breakout rooms. Okay, yeah, yeah. Yeah, maybe uh, maybe a student can have a rest, I think, uh, because uh, this is this so long. Like, yeah. uh, maybe they're quite tired. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh, I'm back. Uh, yeah, so, yeah, take a break. Uh, take a five-minute break. I have just uh, made the breakout room. Yeah. Uh, once you come back, you can just jump into the rooms. Uh, if you have any questions, let us know. Uh, we will help you uh, 